Hi guys, Liz here. Happy Friday to you. Well, do y'all notice anything different here? What? Yes, you got it right. I have transformed my mantle. Got rid of the Santa picture, changed out the garland, got rid of the nutcrackers, lightened and brightened it up, brought the red and greens and golds to the mantle to mimic the trees on both sides. And if that wasn't enough, I decorated above the mantle. So, y'all wanna see a quick glimpse of it? Okay guys, so check this out. I, you know those Whoville like trees that everybody was saying, you know, put those up on the mantle because they mimic the trees on e either side of the uh, fireplace. No, guess where I put them? It was a great idea, by the way, but I just was, I couldn't make it work. And I really like these, this uh, red and green ornament topiary trees better because they were brighter and more vibrant. Check it out. I put them up there. Let me see if I can roll this back. So I've got my little farmhouse light so I can light up the stone. And then I've added the ribbon to mimic the trees up there. And then I put the little Whoville, I'm just going to call them Whoville, Whoville, uh, trees up there. I had four, but I wanted to do it in a set of three. And then on either side of that, I put two reindeer. And it looks so stinking cute in here at night. And I, um, I am loving it, guys. Loving it. It's so funny how my mantle was making me so mad that I was turning into the Grinch the other day. But I took everyone's advice. I sat on it. I looked at it. And yesterday, I woke and had my coffee and I said, I need to get rid of Mr. Santa. He's darkening this base too much. So I ran down to my basement and I'm like, oh, the shutters, that will lighten and brighten everything up. Add the, added the wreath and then added these little topiaries right there and then those. Added these little presents, see? I got rid of the more traditional style garland and went with a a different one that was more whimsical looking, I guess. Added some ribbon to that, and I'm loving it, loving it. So thank you guys. Unfortunately, I don't wanna share any more because I wanna do a room reveal because I'm so in love with it right now, I can't even tell you. I have uh, done my bookshelf and some other things in here. It's all coming together beautifully, better than I had imagined. So, Gosh, I wish I had something to share with you today, but it's there's so much going on this week. We had uh, a, cheer, a football game last night. My daughter was cheering at. We have homecoming game tonight. Two other daughters are cheering at a high school game. And then we've got homecoming tomorrow night. So in the midst of trying to get my house together and keep up with my normal everyday chores and go to all these events at night, this mama just didn't have time to film anything. I really didn't, so please forgive me. But I will try to get something out to you guys over the weekend. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow because we've got homecoming and we have to go do photos and all that good stuff. And makeup and hair and all that fun stuff. So it may be Sunday, but I promise you I will have something to you, okay? Y'all have a great weekend. Thank you guys so much for your sweet comments and your support and your suggestions. But uh, this mom's happy now. I'm moving on to something else. Okay, well, I will insert some pictures and maybe some video of the process yesterday. I was in my pajamas decorating with a coffee on the shelf. And I'm like, I can't film this looking like this. Um... I started out my video like with messy hair and I was like, morning goals, morning goals, goals, people. But I was like, in the end, I was like, Liz, you can't, you can't do a video in your jammies looking like that. No. So we will bypass that video, but I will put in some clips of what, what I was doing yesterday and how it looked with better lighting. It's another great day today. So anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Look for the videos. Um, coming up next. Bye guys. So some of you might be asking how am I securing my um, my wreath and my bow. All I did was take two nails and I nailed a nail there and one above and then just wrap that little tie around it. 
You can see it there. And uh, that's how I'm gonna hang mine. Um, I don't wanna have to mess with command hooks. And you know, sometimes when you crank the heat on in the winter, it, it makes uh, the command hooks come off easily with the heat. So I didn't wanna take any chances. So I just hammered in a simple nail. So much better already. Let me stand back. Love it.